Hey everyone, my name is Danelle. I uh, started Block Power, which is an early stage startup that is building an online platform to connect investors concerned about climate change to solar and energy efficiency projects in inner cities. I grew up in an inner city. Here's a picture of me and my kid sister. Uh, we lived with our parents in a one bedroom apartment in bed Brooklyn. Um, when the winters got really cold, we would turn on the stove and open up the oven door and use that to heat the apartment. And we'd open up a window to kind of let air circulate. Not very efficient. Um, one day my sister and I were outside. We looked across the street. We saw two young men uh, talking with one another. And one of the young men pulled out a gun and pointed at the other one's head and pulled the trigger. That motivated me to become a community organizer. So 15 years later, I went one neighborhood over after graduating from Duke to Brownsville, Brooklyn. Super concentration of poverty and violence in this neighborhood. Um, one of the things we learned was that the young men who were involved in the drug trade there and were firing all the weapons uh, would have given their right arm for a steady, stable, safe job as a janitor cleaning toilets. Um, the other thing I learned was that these huge 16 and 17 story properties uh, public housing facilities in New York, if you walked around Brownsville in the winter, they all had the windows open. Same problem, the apartments were overheated or underheating and folks were having to compensate. Um, so as a taxpayer, I had two thoughts. One is, my tax dollars are heating these apartments and paying for heat that's like floating out the window into the ether. The other was, why couldn't we hire those young people to kind of retrofit and do energy efficiency in their own communities? Um, I worked for President Obama on his first campaign and then on the stimulus, investing green construction dollars during the stimulus in inner cities. As we kind of spent down all our money, I got a call from my favorite pastor, Reverend Youngblood. Uh, he said, hey man, my energy bill is killing me. It's $10,000 a month. It's $120,000 a year to heat and cool my church. Um, turned out his church was a beautiful, huge, you know, stained glass windows, 100-year-old property. Um, that was an energy hog. Uh, we had an engineer come over and check it out. And the engineer decided that they could save about 30% on the electricity cost, but it would require a $20,000 upfront investment. Reverend Youngblood didn't have it, and we couldn't borrow it from a bank. Uh, it turns out that there's $43 billion worth of projects all across the country that's just like this one. Pastors and rabbis, nonprofits, charter schools that have high energy costs, declining revenues, and can't finance their solar and energy efficiency projects. Banks aren't interested in this market because it's too risky, it's too small, it's too costly, uh, it's too tricky to acquire enough customers. So what if, and what we're working on on Block Power is, what if we got Reverend Youngblood to talk to pastors in his community or stand up at the NAACP or National Association of Baptist Conventions to ask all of the pastors there to think about renovating their properties? What if we assembled a micro or a macro portfolio of properties which would allow us to spread out the risk of default across a portfolio? What if we were able to send engineers from the best engineering firms in the country to each building to do an assessment of how solar and energy efficiency might reduce all of those buildings' operational costs by 20 to 25 percent? What if we invested $25,000 or 25 percent into each project from our own balance sheet, which would limit the risk because we're providing a guarantee for outside investors? Could we raise the remaining $75,000 from investors, from banks? Could we crowdsource it? Reverend Youngblood's church, we were able to save him $3,000 a month. That $36,000 a year would allow him to make a $12,000 repayment to us, collected on his utility bill, so we don't have to collect bills. Uh, and he could reinvest the rest of his money in his social programs. So we create jobs, energy savings, uh, carbon emissions reductions, and financial returns for our investors. There's 60 million Americans who are alarmed about climate change. They don't feel like they have a sense of what they can do to take action. Um, what if we could solve for climate change in the same way that Americans have solved for all our problems throughout our histories, but people coming together in rooms like this uh, and deciding that they would take action to invest in solar and energy efficiency retrofits in their own communities. These are the problems that we're solving over at Block Power. We're building an online platform to facilitate all of this. And if you have questions or feedback, uh, please shoot me an email and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks very much.